Welcome to today's Clean With Me video. In today's video, I am cleaning my toaster and my microwave, something that I haven't done for a very long time. I don't know if I've actually cleaned this microwave since I bought it, which was, I think, last year, and it wasn't very dirty, to be honest. It hadn't had any spillages or anything, because if anything ever spills in there, I actually clean it straight away. So it wasn't too bad, so it was quite nice to clean. But my toaster did have a lot of crumbs in, which you will see when I come to clean that. Today I did also do a lot of hoovering that I didn't show on camera and mopping. My house has changed quite a bit over the last 24 hours, unexpectedly, because Basically, the carpet that I have in my living room started to smell of dog pee quite a lot and quite strong, which I mentioned in my last video last week. And yeah, it was such a strong smell that we would smell it morning and night, no matter how many kind of like fragrances we use, like used room sprays, anything like that, or even my carpet cleaner, we used six days in a row and it still didn't help. So I thought, you know what, something's wrong here. And I said, we need to take this carpet up because I think it's the carpet. And my dad said that he thought that it would be the underlay under the carpet that has got soaked with dog pee and that it's just not, you know, drying out and it's just basically ruined. So he came round the following day and we pulled the carpet up and yes, the underlay was soaked through with like water and pee and the carpet itself was looking a little bit moldy underneath as well and was just ruined basically. This isn't the whole carpet, this was just kind of like two specific main areas where the dogs would actually pee. But obviously I know it sounds bad that they do pee on them but when I'm at work I can't see where they're peeing. I've trained them to pee on mats, which they do most of the time, but the odd time that they pee on the carpet, I can't see where they've peed because it was grey carpet and it literally just blended in. So I literally had no idea. But anyway, over time, the carpet ended up getting ruined. Sorry if you can hear barking, that's my dogs downstairs. Um, but yeah, we pulled it all up and I thought, you know what, we're just going to have to pull up the whole carpet and I'm going to have to either put a new carpet down or put laminate flooring down. And in my head, I wanted laminate flooring because I knew that that would be kind of like a solution to the dog's peeing issue because they never, ever, ever pee on hard floor. They only ever pee on a material like carpet or a mat or anything that's textured or obviously the grass outside. You know, when I'm at home, they do pee outside because I will just take them out. But I thought, yeah, laminate flooring would be great. But lucky thing is, is when we pulled up the carpet, and the underlay, there was actually laminate flooring underneath already. So it's actually saved me so much money from having to pay for laminate flooring to be put down because there was already some underneath. Obviously there is like marks and stuff like that. It's not fresh brand new laminate flooring, but I don't care because it's so much nicer to come down in the morning and not smell ammonia and dog pee because obviously it's not good to be, you know, smelling that anyway. But I actually like the look as well and it just relieves a lot of stress from me knowing that the dogs will be peeing on a mat. If I put a mat in that room, they will 100% pee on it. They will not pee, you know, on the floor unless it's an exceptional circumstance. So yeah, that has changed. My dad actually took the carpet out and he managed to salvage the good bits of the carpet and he used it to do the stairs. So to put carpet down on my stairs, because if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that my stairs are pretty kind of like scruffy and the carpet is just not a great carpet. So he actually used the carpet from the living room to do the stairs and also he did the landing as well upstairs. You will see this in a second after these kind of few cleaning clips, I will do like a house update where I will show you these um, updates and what I've done, but I just thought to kind of explain why things have changed and why it's kind of changed so suddenly. There is still a few things I need to do, but it has saved me a lot of money um, in terms of like not having to laminate the living room and also not having to pay for somebody to come and do the carpet on the stairs and in the landing because my dad was able to do that. So that's really lucky. He um, used some underlay that was not soaked of pee as well. Don't worry. 
um, I'm not going to have that same issue again. But yeah, the dogs won't be peeing upstairs. And I know that because I put a stair gate in specifically so that they wouldn't come upstairs when I'm not here. And obviously when the baby comes, it will be handy to have the stair gate as well um, at the bottom and top of the stairs. But yeah, so that is my kind of like house situation update. In terms of the cleaning that I'm doing though right now in this video, I was just kind of cleaning down the surfaces because obviously the toaster had been there and a lot of breadcrumbs and just mess had gotten under that and just across the full surface and I just knew that this needed doing. I have got a lot more cleaning I need to do next week. For example, the washing machine, the oven, the kettle, like other appliances in the kitchen, but this is all I had energy for today because I was, like I said, doing a lot of other cleaning as well today it was just stuff that I haven't or didn't film but yeah I like to have like really nice clean surfaces and the spray that I use is just one from Aldi I think it's like ATP and it's really good I don't know why I just like it it's got a nice smell and um, some sprays I have when you spray them not much liquid comes out and I like this because a lot of liquid does actually come out um, so yeah that was really nice but I just kind of targeted like one specific area in my kitchen sometimes I think it's good to just do bit by bit and don't think oh I need to clean my entire kitchen like you don't have to do that every single week you can just do whatever you can manage and for me that was this today so this is the clips of the living room now it has very much changed the flooring is completely different. It is laminate flooring now. So the dog's paws, you can just hear them. There are obviously some marks and things on the floor here and there, but this was what was underneath the carpet. So yeah, I didn't know that this was here. So I'm glad it was because the carpet was so ruined. So under my stairs, I used to have my sofa, but I've actually moved things around. And now I've got my TV and the dog's toy basket and hamster cage and things. And then on the other side of the room is where I've got my sofas. Um, I still need to put some washing away. And my dad is still coming around to fix a few things. But this is like the new layout to the living room and I'm very happy with it. And there is no smell of wee. Teddy's staring but yeah this is like an overview of the living room now. A bit of carpet at the front door that my dad put down that was left over from what was in here and then on the stairs this is the carpet and if you remember what it looked like before it looked awful. He's going to come round quite soon and do the landing um, today but yeah very happy and the stair gate is to stop the dogs going upstairs when I'm at work because I don't want them to pee upstairs. So this is the before of the landing and when dad has finished, I will show you the after. And he's just gonna be using leftover bits of carpet from my living room. And this is the bits of carpet that are not ruined. So this is my bedroom and this is the room that still needs a carpet putting in that I will have to pay for that to be done. But that's absolutely fine and I can save that for another day. So a company actually contacted me and asked me if they could send me one of their products for me to show and review in a video. And I will link down the product on their Amazon. So check out the description box for this product, but they are motion sensor lights that you stick on yourself. I did video the instructions if you wanna read that pause the video but basically you get four of these motion sensor lights you get a charger and you get kind of like velcro stick on things so that you can stick them onto the wall and you can just pull them off easily when they need charging these things don't require battery batteries obviously because of the charger so that's really great for me because I hate just using batteries. I just feel like it's such a waste to kind of throw them out. And it's just a normal charger that you can put into like a normal plug, if you know what I mean. Um, but I stuck the Velcro onto the back of these and I wanted to put them on my stairs. You can pop these in cupboards. You can pop them on a wall somewhere. You can pop them in a bathroom cabinet, anything you like. And when you walk past them or open the cupboard door, the lights will come on. I decided to put them on 
on my stairs just so that when you walk past them the lights will come on. Um, I won't necessarily always have this activated but most times at night I will try and activate this because it's so handy at night like to see where I'm going on the stairs as well and um, they are quite bright but you can adjust the settings it is going to be bright in a second so if you don't like that turn the video off now yeah there we go very bright um but yeah you can adjust that if you press it once it will just be like a strong permanent light but if you press them twice, they will be motion sensor lights. I really like how these look. So check out the description box for the link to these products. And thank you to them for sending me it. My fridge this week, I have got like a prepped lunch for the week. I am going to split that into probably three for my lunches at work, which is pasta and sauce. And I've got a rice and sauce as well um, that I've also prepped. And just a few bits and bobs. I'm gonna make pasta and meatballs tonight with this mincemeat. We've got loads of eggs and fruit and vegetables in the bottom, potatoes. And then my usual, my morning smoothie that I need. And then all of these, my baby bells. I really like the light baby bells. That's my fridge. Now for a baby room update. Okay, sorry I look so dishevelled and rough. I haven't done my hair today and I haven't even washed my face yet. I've just cracked on with the day. When it's a day like today, I just can't be bothered to get ready or anything like that. But I do have a few new room updates. Um, this room now looks very small, which it is. It's small anyway, but it's even more small because I've got a wardrobe in here now. So I did buy a few new bits for this room. I have got a wardrobe, which is here, which I'll show you up close in a minute. I also have got a baby play mat down here and a storage kind of shelving thing that you put on the back of a door. I bought that. I also got the baby a bouncy chair, which is in the corner of the room here. And um, I've put all of her clothes in the wardrobe as well. I did also order a changing table which is going to go in this room as well just don't know to utilize that whilst i'm here um and it was only cheap or something but it hasn't arrived yet so you'll see that in next week's video hopefully in next week's video i'll have a baby room update where i can show you some more stuff that i've bought the baby because each week i have a little list of things that i want to buy the baby and i i'm, I'm just sectioning it out week by week and uh, the reason why I'm not buying everything in one go is A, because I won't have enough money to buy absolutely everything in one go. And B, I want to make sure that I have money still in my bank account for the MOT on my car, if I need to fix anything with my car, if any issues arise or if I need to pay for anything last minute. So I'm just kind of buying little bits each week. But next week, I think I'm going to get her a few toys and just a few like little extra random things that we need. But yeah, let me show you the items. So this isn't going to be 100% where I will put everything. I might organise it properly afterwards. But this is the first thing I got. This is just a very, very, very cheap wardrobe off of Amazon. I will open it up um, with the zips to show you. So this is what the wardrobe looks like when it's fully opened up. To be honest, I will probably leave it open actually. I think it looks better than when it's closed. Um, but yeah, I have got just loads of clothes that were passed to me um, from a family member that doesn't need them anymore. And there is literally loads, like loads and loads and loads of the same thing, um, which is really, really great. I do need to wash all of these. So I'll wash them and organize them properly, you know, when I've washed them. Loads of like baby suits. These are all baby suits and I've got like a couple of jackets and then like little coats, baby suit coats. These are all um, been passed down to me, by the way. I haven't bought a single one. Um, and these are like dungarees. These are like dungarees. And I think that's a bottle sterilizer. I need to research about that because I was given that as well. And look how adorable this is. 
the only thing I can hang because that's the only thing I was given with a hanger. So I need to buy some hangers because there's some rails up here that I can hang clothes on. So you can like store things in here, like nappies and things, and you can hang clothes here or fold some clothes or whatever. Um, but there's also storage at the bottom. So there's a few nappies. I, again, I was handed my hospital bag. I've got like flannels and things. There's like trousers, t-shirts for the baby, a little hat, swimming things. And then like, what are they called? Are they called swaddles where they sleep in them? Like those things that they sleep in, that means that they can't move. I can't remember what they're called. I should probably know that. So that is that, but yes, it does need organizing. So I'll show you that like in a couple of weeks, but it does have some storage on the side that you can put things in. I only spent 35 pounds on this wardrobe, which I think was really, really good. And I don't want anything expensive because I just need to save money. And for me, it's not about like looks or about quality necessarily. It's about purpose and it actually storing all the clothes that I have. So I was really happy with this. It took me ages to build because um, me and Jamie had to put it together and it had all these little bits and poles and everything, but it is up now. But if somebody fell into it, they would 100% collapse the whole thing. So it's not sturdy, but I would recommend it if you want like a cheap storage option like me, because it was only 35 pounds from Amazon. This is my storage shelf for the door. This was £10 on Amazon. I thought that was really good. I've just popped a few teddies in there, but you can put things like nappies in here, wipes, like baby stuff, bottles, whatever, like anything that you want. Then the bouncy chair, the baby just kind of sits on there and I don't know, bounces or something. Again, this was £15, I think. And then finally, the play mat, which I think looks really cute. Um, so it's got loads of little bits and bobs that it can play with, things hanging down, um, like a little mirror thingy. And then it's got like kind of rattles and textures and things that it can pull on. And yeah, I just think this is really cute. So this is what the baby can play on. So that is the update for the baby room for this week. I will be doing the carpet in this room at some point, but I will keep you updated. Mm -hmm.